Hail, Farmer Dre back at it. It's a beautiful afternoon or evening here on the farm. My dad and I and the boys have been busy. We went ahead and finished off the fencer. So you guys know we, whenever we uh, took out a bunch of trees and stuff for the strawberries, we had our neighbor come out here and push out a bunch of old trees. We finally get that, got that electric fence done today. So it was an absolute busy day here on the farm, at least for us. And uh, I didn't really film any of that fencing because we were just trying to get it done. But this evening, Adrian and I, we have to get ready for the farmer's market. He's going to Springfield tomorrow. I'm going to Bolivar. And uh, I guess I'll take you guys along for the ride. So farmer's market prep. We still got to... I'll have Moses come out here and pick tomatoes because I need some of those for tomorrow. I got a few boxes. I think I got four boxes, four half bushel boxes in the warehouse from Tuesday. And But tomato sales have really decreased, decreased in the past two to three weeks. So we're not, we're not selling too much. And the produce and stuff is done for and we actually had to bottle about 300 gallons of cider. We're going to go ahead and get started with that. And uh, I want to show you guys our high tunnel. And uh, we finally got all the strawberries in. So these are the rest of the strawberries. So these are, there's another, another 3,000 right here. And we're, these are the Chandlers on this side. We still got some Roccos and some Camaros there from when we didn't plant them. And then we got some, this variety right here, we have Monterey and Albion. And these are bo both day neutral varieties. All the other strawberries we plant here on the farm are June bearing, but we're planting two of uh, the um, day neutral varieties in our high tunnel. I just want to plant two rows, maybe two and a half of each, just to try it out. Because I mean, usually in this area, everybody just grows the June bearing varieties. And by the middle of, uh, you pick in the middle of May, and then by the first week of June, you're pretty much done for. But those will go a little longer in the season. So we, I went ahead and connected all of the irrigation system up in here in the high tunnel. So you can see here, two lines of irrigation all the way through there. So that's how much it wet. That's how much <laughs> is getting irrigated. And I went ahead and got the water wheel in here, or just the wheel alone. So I went ahead and poked the roll of uh, the holes there, just to see how it goes. So tomorrow, after the market, Moses and myself will be out here planting. But you know, we want to go ahead and get the beds nice and soaked and ready. And uh, whenever we start planting tomorrow, we're gonna go ahead and they do the whole uh, finish off the holes there. And do everything else so this year i'm only going to do i'm still debating i might do another hole here so i got to measure 12 inches from here to here and then do a hole, might do four rows per bed but i'm not exactly sure yet i might just try out and leave one for three one for four so i mean we're still we're planting tomorrow and i don't have an exact plan yet so so we're just gonna go ahead and get ready for the farmer's market we got a bottle of cider so i'm gonna go ahead and take you guys along for the ride and just to hit on the uh actual plants in here so the plants in here since it'll be a lot warmer they're going to be a lot more vigorous and they're going to grow a whole lot more so that's why i'm still debating about planting three versus four because you're going to get so much more uh vegetative growth in here so uh yeah i'm still debating we'll see by uh, hopefully uh by tonight i'll make a final decision so like i said i might just try two rows in here with four and the rest three because in the future if we do more high tone starters i gotta mentally know what to do and uh how to get ready for that but yeah let's go in the warehouse there in the store and bottle some cider so these are the tomatoes that i have from tuesday and they're still i mean they're nice tomatoes you just have to mount them in the warehouse so they're still good nice number one tomatoes here and uh, i gotta go through them tonight like that one kind of went away but this one right here is perfect perfect tomato and then we got a few boxes of seconds here for canners so uh yeah i'll go through them double check them tonight before we do all that good stuff. So now let's head inside the cider room. So change of plans. Mo and I are going to go pick tomatoes. I told Adrian that he could get the cider room ready, ready for bottling. So by the time he gets everything ready and sanitized and clean, we're going to go ahead and pick a few tomatoes. We only need about three to four boxes. So uh, I only grabbed three boxes. So uh, let's go pick some tomatoes. So utter failure. There is nothing, absolutely nothing. That's all we picked in here. I mean, they're not, they're not half bad tomatoes. I mean, the tomato plants are dying or dead rough looking tomatoes in here i mean it's seasons we only picked in here rule heavy for about six to eight weeks after you know up to about the middle of august and after that the plants just start dying off because like i said these are determinate plants <laughs> isaac what are you doing <laughs> bud <laughs> so uh yeah i mean rough looking there's a few coming on but not much so we have a few in the field that we're gonna go ahead and start picking a few field tomatoes so uh yeah let's get uh to it i guess get it done. 
out here in the we're going the field i guess <laughs> there's a <laughs> bunch of itty bitty ones so yeah you said these pants are rough yeah they're rough looking <laughs> kind of like me like the first yeah look at this dead carolina golds oh yeah so moses just talked to me oh look at that beautiful tomato we are out here in the field or where the old strawberries were. <laughs> we got Isaac and Moses picking there. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, how the pumpkins and the specialty gourds came uh, came on here. We had these are zucchinis here. They were zucchinis. Uh, cucumbers on this side, yellow squash. So most of the plants are pretty much done for. We uh, planted these the middle of June. So all the plants are uh, pretty much done for. And uh, we've been Tomorrow will be the first day we'll open this up for the U pick on the, this, this part of the farm here. So, you know, we still got a bunch of these uh, these gourds here, grew up nicely. Got some yellow ones there, not yellow ones, the uh, green ones. And then we got a bunch of these right here. So uh, these will do good. They're just funky looking specialty gourds here. So all kinds of stuff, all, all kinds of good stuff here. So overall, not too bad. I mean they did they did pretty good. I mean I didn't really I didn't really didn't spray these much with any fungicide or anything for the uh powdery mildew. Or I did spray once for the insects, but yep, kind of rough looking out here, but it's not too bad. A lot of these are ready to go. Small ones here, so perfect, perfect, perfect ones. The brother trying to kill me there with some tomatoes, but a lot of different pie pumpkins, mini pumpkins, all kinds of stuff. I mean, this it has the size of these right here. Some beautiful mini pumpkins right there. So, yep, the ground is kind of covered with them. Now, on this side right here, we also have a lot of these uh, different gizmos and stuff like that. I don't know what you call these, but yeah, these two rows here are just full of these. So. And just decorative decorative stuff decorative pumpkins and whatnot so yep oh there's a insect right there all kinds of stuff and we got some kershaw's here some peanut pumpkins all kinds of good looking stuff out here so yep so these are the field tomatoes here unstaked no good field tomatoes so I mean, just picked a few Carolina Golds here. Not bad. I mean, they're they're field tomatoes. We're for the ones who want the field tomatoes. So. Uh, real good quality, bud. Oh yeah, real good quality. Number one tomatoes. Focus our gravity filler. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys in more in detail how that works. So we got 300 gallons to bottle, so it's gonna be a few hours until we get done here. So just part of the deal. We work outside during the day, come in here, work until midnight, pack for market, and then go to market, wake up in the morning at five, be out there. So um, part of it, part of being a farmer, I guess. So uh, yeah, let's get to bottling cider.
So just like that, we just got done bottling all of the cider. And now it's time to clean up and then I'll head into the warehouse and grab those tomatoes, get the cider and apples ready for tomorrow. And uh, we'll be good to go, but it's currently like 10 something. Not exactly sure what time it is, but 10.43. So we still got another good couple of hours work here before we even get in. And tomorrow's another early start. So yeah, let's see how fast we clean the cider room. Alrighty, so I'm out here grading tomatoes and some of these are field tomatoes and then the high tunnel mix not too many and we got the ones from last week and then we will be done I'm just taking a few boxes to market tomorrow and then I still need to get the apples and then the um, cider ready and that's it pretty much it for tomorrow it's just the cider apples baked goods of course and then the tomatoes so yep just out here grading it's about midnight I don't know what time it is. Yep, 11.37. So uh, we'll get to it, finish up here pretty quick, and then go inside and finally go to sleep. Alrighty, so I got two boxes of number ones, and then we got three of the seconds there from last week, and the one that I uh, graded right now. So uh, this is uh, going to be pretty much it for today. I still got to get the cider and apples ready, but I'm uh, super exhausted, ready to go to sleep. So I might just do that in the morning. I guess I'll have to feel after I get done uh, filming this. So, um, this is going to be pretty much it for today. If you guys haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit, share this video with a friend. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit, hit that bell notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day. We'll see you next time.